It's the final day of racing at the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race as the UCI Women's World Tour comes to Sacramento, California in the shadow of the state capitol. 20 laps of a 2.2 mile circuit await the riders today as it is another day for the sprinters with a flat circuit race around the state capitol. My name is Brad Soner here with Laura Winter of Vox Women as we get ready for the final day of racing which could be crucial for the GC as Katie Hall of the United Healthcare Pro Cycling Team tries to hold on to a one second lead over the European champion Anna van der Breggen heading into the final day of racing. Laura caught up with Katie before the start today. Katie, day four, the final day, the last three days of racing come down to a crit race here in Sacramento. And for a climber like you, it's probably not an ideal situation. You have one second to defend for the yellow jersey. What's the plan today? Uh, race our hearts out. We've got one second. We've got to defend that, that one second, not let Anna van der Breggen get any bonus seconds in the intermediate or the finish. So that's the plan. And for your teammates as well, who are you going to be looking to and relying on? Um, every one of them. Every one of them are better on a flat course like this than I am, so I'll be leaning on them pretty hard today. And are you letting yourself imagine what it would be like to put on yellow at the end of yeah, the day? It, it would be amazing. I've worn this jersey once before this year, but lost it, and I'd really like to keep, keep a hold of it this year. Well, best of luck today. Thank you very much. Well, this would certainly be a big win for Katie Hall living in California to win the yellow jersey here at the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race. But that one second deficit to Anna van der Breggen, not a whole lot of room for Katie Hall and her United Healthcare team to work with. We caught up with Anna van der Breggen before the stage to hear how they're going to try and overcome the gap. So, Anna, you have one second to claw back, two chances to do it. How's it going to go today? I have no idea. We tried to get the seconds back and... Uh... Like yesterday, it took two seconds, so today it's also possible. I know it's not easy, but the team is ready for it, and I need them today. I think more than ever, so uh, we're motivating to try it, and yeah, we're totally going for it. And can you imagine yet, have you put yourself forward to think about what it would be like to win here? How much would it mean to you? Uh, of course, a lot, but especially it... it it's also kind of nice that it turned into a team challenge. I mean, it's you cannot do it now without your team anymore. So if I win here, it's the whole team wins here, and it's going to be a great victory. And if we lose, it's a bit losing on one second is never nice. But it's for both of us, for Katie also and her team. So yeah, it's a nice challenge. Best of luck today. Thank you. In addition to the GC battle, we're also going to be watching the sprinters today in Corinne Rivera at the top of everyone's list as the Sunweb rider looks to go back to back after a stage three victory. Kirsten Vild with the mechanical yesterday will also be looking for redemption for her Silence team. We caught up with Corinne Rivera before the stage today. Corinne, a spectacular win for you yesterday. We're on the same roads again. How do you repeat it? Thanks, yeah, I couldn't have done it without the girls for sure. And uh, to repeat it, I mean, we've done it once and I've raced this race since I was 18. So a lot of experience and hopefully we can pull it off again and execute. The lead out train for you guys yesterday was absolutely on point. How, how much is this a team effort? It's 100% a team effort and that's what I love about sprinting so much is that everyone puts 100% in and it gives me the strength to do 110%. And so you could see it yesterday over the stream that, you know, every single girl was putting everything into it and it just makes my job that much easier. And how much motivation do you get from having friends and family and your boyfriend here as well? It's huge and especially being in my home state and hear everyone scream my name and uh, I can definitely feel the love and uh, I try to give it right back. Best of luck today. Thank you. Another Bluebird Day here at the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race with what should be perfect conditions here in Sacramento for the final stage. Laura, a relatively straightforward circuit here, 20 laps around this course. They do, of course, have corners to negotiate as you see the laps being drawn on the screen now. Pan flat, an absolute sprinter's dream today. Now there is one intermediate sprint with time bonuses at five laps to go on the circuit. That could be crucial in the GC battle. Really no hills to worry about on the course. It really could come down to that final turn. This is a very technical circuit, all things considered, when you look at the other courses here at the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race. So pretty much pan flat, almost zero elevation gain on the stage today. Today. This is going to be the five lap to go intermediate sprint. Here's Kristen Armstrong talking about the circuit today. The circuit race, you know, we call it a circuit race. And so a lot of times you're thinking, oh, this is the final stage. From my experience, I think it was one of the hardest races I've ever done. 
The gas is full on. It never stops. There's lots and lots of corners, and it's intense because the teams have traveled from like across the world to come here. Everyone came here to win. It's not like you would see at the Tour de France when you're celebrating with champagne in that last stage. There's no giving up anything on last day and stage four in Sacramento. Underway in Sacramento as the final stage of the engine breakaway from heart disease women's race rolls out with all the big teams on the front. Of course, the yellow jersey of Katie Hall. That is Mandy Heinz in the breakaway from cancer. Most courageous riders jersey for her solo ride off the front yesterday. Laura, today it's really all about strategy, both for the GC teams and the sprint teams. It truly is. There's Anna van der Breggen. She is one second down and she has got to claw back that deficit if she wants to be in yellow and indeed if Bols Dolmans wants to defend the title they won last year with Megan Garnier. And of course you've also got the sprinters battle as well. Corinne Rivera, they're going for another stage victory. So we'll expect to see a lot of Bulls Dolmans on the front, a lot of United Healthcare, and of course a lot of the Sunweb team to support Corinne Rivera in her effort to get another stage here at the Amgen Tour of California. So as we go back to racing on course, you can see a relatively easy pace here early on, but that won't last long because the speed's picked up very quickly and a big crash on course. That's Anna Vanderbregen going down, so Vanderbregen caught up in a little scuffle on course. That is not the start the Olympic and European champion will want at all, but she's back on a bike and looks composed. Nice look at the Corinne Rivera fan club. Her mom, dad, and boyfriend Nate cheering her on. They might be the good luck charms for Corinne Rivera. I think the good luck charm from what I've heard is Nate and me. I, I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> but it looks like it's working out. <laughs> we were here at the 50, uh, 50 meters and when I saw her create that gap, I know she's going to win it. Her father and brother also traveled to join her in Flanders for that historic win, so we'll see if the luck rubs off today in Sacramento. Back to the action out on course. Laura, this is a crucial sprint coming up here at five laps to go with time bonuses available for the first three riders across the line. Three seconds for first, two seconds for second, and one second for third. If Vanderbregen can get time here, she could move in to the Gold Amgen leader's jersey. And already you can see the pace has really lifted from the previous laps as we have one rider off the front here, but behind them the race is on between Anna van der Breggen and United Healthcare. Can they try to defend that yellow jersey? This is Visit Dallas DNA Pro Cycling taking a look off the front, but not liking what she sees behind her because she is getting no help in the run up to the line here. All the big teams are going to try to keep this race together. There's United Healthcare on the front, Bulls Dolmans in the orange jerseys as well, so they are lining it up here. This could be a GC raid for the Bulls Dolmans team. And it's funny because United Healthcare had spent much of the race trying to control the pace. Perhaps they wasted some of their energy because now Bulls Dolmans have come right through, and that's Megan Garnier on the front there. She is going out to defend that yellow jersey that she won last year and bring it back to her team for Anna van der Breggen. Well, this will be the catch right here on the back side of the circuit, and then the teams will take over on the front. A little bit of separation coming off the left-hand side of the peloton. All the teams trying to line it up here. Certainly looks like Bowles Dolmans is going to give this one a go. This looks like a tactical masterclass from Bowles Dolmans. United Healthcare at the moment nowhere to be seen. They're just behind the Bowles Dolmans train, and they are lining up Anna van der Breggen for the sprint. She's not in her usual role. She's not usually a sprinter who's at the back of a train ready to be unleashed. East. So she was nervous this morning. Uh, same story with Katie Hall. Uh, obviously a pure climber, not the best sprinter in the field. So United Healthcare is probably going to try and use other riders to sweep those time bonuses up. It's not that Katie Hall needs the time. It's that they want to make sure that Anna van der Breggen doesn't get the time. So they would be happy if any other rider other than van der Breggen were able to pick up those three time bonuses. They just have to keep her out of the top three in this sprint. And here we can see the back of the peloton. You can see how much it's strung out by the fact the pace has lifted as Bowles Dolmans surged to the line to try and deliver Van der Breggen over for some vital seconds to put her into the GC lead. Majerus now on the front. What a big pull here from the Bulls Dolmans team. That is Van der Breggen sitting third wheel. Arlena Sierra also moving forward. The standout Cuban rider for the Astana Pro team as they make their way to the line. This will be the most important sprint of this year's Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race empowered with SRAM. 
It really will, as we can see the final Bowles Dolman's rider putting in one last effort to deliver Van der Breggen to the line. We've got a United Healthcare rider up there as well, and Sierra and Georgia Bronzini in Van der Breggen's wake. Katie Hall is missing from the group. You see the yellow jersey just going out of the picture there. She will be out of the discussion. Ruth Winder is going to try to sprint this one out to sweep up some of those bonus seconds, but it doesn't look like Winder is going to be able to crack the top three, as that will be Bronzini on the right hand side of the screen, picking up three seconds. Sierra there as well, and Anna Vanderbregen picks up a two second time bonus. That will make her the new virtual race leader. Absolutely amazing sprint, brilliant tactics from Bowles Dolmans. They truly uh, outfox United Healthcare there as we see a replay now of the sprint. Georgia Bronzini as well, fantastic effort from her. She only has two teammates with her, Audrey Codon and Amelia Farlin, yet she can still win a sprint like this. Bronzini clearly on very good form here as the former world champion comes with great form to the Amgen Tour of California. So the top three across the line, that means that Katie Hall now has to switch from defense to offense. And the only way that Katie Hall is going to be able to pick up time here is probably with a gap because I don't see it happening in the sprint. So Hall is going to need to either get a breakaway going or pull some rabbit out of the hat here in Sacramento. And a shame now to see defending champion Megan Garnier. She'd had a tough spring with a concussion injury and clearly here in good form on stage one, but uh, not quite got it throughout the week. So a shame to see her spat out the back as the peloton continues to storm around this circuit here in Sacramento. Three laps to go. That's Taylor Wiles on the front who has done a significant amount of work today for the United Healthcare Pro Cycling Team. Rushley Buchanan on the wheel in the white jersey of the New Zealand national champion. So United Healthcare with four on the front certainly looks like they're going to try and set something up here at the finish, but they've got to get Katie Hall up there into the top three. She's got to have a podium finish today if she wants to get that yellow jersey back from Anna Vanderbregen. I fear it might just be all over for Katie Hall because what you're going to see now is the sprint teams begin to get organized. We'll see Sunweb come through, Silence come through, Georgia Bronzini may have another go as well, and Sierra of Astana as well. Watch out for her because she will want to keep hold of both the Young Rider jersey and, of course, the points jersey as well. Bronzini is really the wild card today, as you mentioned, with just two riders left on that Wiggle High Five team. So she's not going to have much of a train to work with, whereas Corinne Rivera will pretty much have the full lead out from her Sunweb team. So we're going to watch for the black jersey of Georgia Bronzini for the Wiggle High Five team to see how she makes it to the front of this group. Yesterday, the Sunweb train was so on point. It was incredibly organized, very drilled, very focused. And Corinne said to me after the race that she couldn't see or hear anything else. She was in her zone, in her train, and they were just going for it. And they truly delivered. Silence, of course, hugely disappointed yesterday with Kirsten Veal's mechanical, just 1.5K from the line. So she will be looking today for redemption for that. Corinne Rivera waiting patiently at the back of the field. She links up with her Sunweb teammates. They'll be able to take her to the front pretty quickly. No reason for her to worry just yet. There is reason for United Healthcare to worry, though, because they've got to get Katie Hall into the top three today, and the sprinters' teams are starting to make their way forward. United Healthcare right now is trying to drive this pace. They're trying to make this race so fast that no one can come over top of them, basically trying to string the field out. But there's going to be a lot of teams in this group that have something to say about that. Today, the sprint's not just about power and strength. It's also about tactics and being smart. The finishing straight is very long, so it means that you've got to time your effort to perfection. United Healthcare then and Taylor Wiles still on the front for their leader, Katie Hall. Well, this is where having a team is so important, especially for that final lead out. If Georgia Bronzini can find the podium today, it will be a thoroughly impressive ride because she uh, won't have any wheels to serve in the finish. The teammates have been doing a very good job during the day today, but I can't imagine they're going to be able to offer much in the sprint. So it'll be interesting to see where Bronzini finds her line. She's going to have to find herself in some train or other. I'd imagine she may jump into some webs or perhaps silence this train and just see if she can surf the wheels and try to get something from it. As we see another crash here, that's Lex Albrecht from Team Tibigo and Mandy Heinz of DNA Dallas Racing, of course, in the most courageous rider jersey. Both of them down, and hopefully they'll be okay. Like one of the Hoggins Berman Superman riders getting caught up in that scuffle as well. Luckily, everyone up and back rolling. So here we are at two laps to go as they come back across the line. United Healthcare still on the front. I'm waiting to see that Sunweb uh, train moving up. Surprised that they're so far back here. 
I think they're just biding their time. We've seen United Healthcare on the front for so long, and here we see again Lauren Hall now going for them. They really are trying to stretch this out, Brad. Yeah, they're trying to take Katie Hall off the front to try to get her the two seconds that she needs to move back into the race lead that Anna van der Breggen just took from her in that intermediate sprint with five laps to go. So the panic bells are ringing in the United Healthcare team car right now, and they're relaying that to the riders on the front. Yeah, we still have United Healthcare then out in front. And there's Katie Hall in the yellow jersey for now, but not for much longer. If Bowles Dormans have their way in the finale of this race, and indeed if Silence, Teen Sunweb and Wiggle High Five have their way as well, and their riders can get up there in the sprint. So here comes Rivera, the Sunweb team, moving up the left-hand side of the peloton, looking calm, cool, and collected in true Corinne Rivera fashion. As she knows, she's got plenty of time to get up there. She'll come over the top of this United Healthcare train. But how about this team sacrificing it all for Katie Hall today? This United Healthcare blue train has been very impressive, not just today, but all week here at the Engine Tour of California. This is a courageous effort from United Healthcare. They're putting absolutely everything on the line in an attempt to get that yellow jersey back to the team. But I fear it may be too little too late as we see them take another one of these technical corners here. I did notice in that shot before, Brad, that Georgia Bronzini was sticking right on Corinne Rivera's wheel. So she is up for this. Looks like some lead out riders already starting to drop off the back after doing their job on the front. They burn through all their energy trying to get their sprinters up to where they need to be. And then after they deliver them there, they're allowed to pull off to the back as they empty the tanks, just getting the riders up there. I would imagine you're going to see a lot of Sunweb riders well off the back of this race when the leaders come through the line. Somewhere we're going to put absolutely everything out there to hope Rivera wins yet again. Of course, she is the first ever American to win the Tour of Flanders um, earlier this year. And also she won Trofea Binder as well. Two World Tour wins. She won a stage yesterday, Elk Grove to Sacramento, on this very circuit. So she knows how to win here. This is Rushley Buchanan back on the front. The New Zealand national champion puts in a big pull for United Healthcare. Again, trying to keep this race together, trying to keep Katie Hall at the front in the hopes that they can execute a miracle in Sacramento and get Katie Hall in the final top three podium. I'm not sure that they can, Brad. I think this might be all over now. We're gearing up for a sprint here, but it's astonishing to see United Healthcare and just how long they have spent on the front in this race. This is truly a team effort, and you can see how much the yellow jersey means to all of them. Taylor Wiles also spending a significant amount of time up here as they sacrifice themselves for Katie Hall. I also saw the Silence train starting to move up. There's the green and black jerseys just behind United Healthcare there. That, of course, the team of Kirsten Viles, so they should be in good position to try to drop Viles off for the sprint. Another train coming up the right side of the peloton. That looked like Canyon Sram trying to get up there. There is a lot, a lot of chaos going on at the front of this group. I'd imagine Canyon Tram will be hoping Hannah Barnes there. And just in the center of your screen in the British National Championship jersey, she will be hoping to get a good result today from Canyon Tram, who have otherwise had a pretty quiet tour. How about rally cycling with Emma White in the top 10 yesterday? The young sprinter on that rally squad will be looking for another good stage result today. Looks like they've got two riders moving up with a few more riders trying to join them. So here we are into the final lap of racing. One lap to go, just 2.2 miles remaining in the 2017 Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race empowered with SRAM. And look at the crowds at the finish as well. The atmosphere here is absolutely electric as still we see United Healthcare on the front. We've got silence though in the wheel that looks like Danny King. Canyon just behind that rally up there as well. But we're yet to see the teams really come through in an organized manner in their sprint trains. It's looking a little chaotic out there. Yeah, so far, it looks like Canyon Sram has the best setup on the front right now for Hannah Barnes in the British National Champions kit. But oh boy, here comes Sunweb up the left hand side of the peloton. This is the moment that the entire field has been waiting for. Corinne Rivera is making her way to the front, a danger woman in this sprint. What teamwork there from somewhere. They look absolutely on it. They're organized, they're drilled. They're coming up one side and Karim Rivera is right in the wheel, ready to go. Look at the panic behind them. Everyone trying to get on the wheel of that Sunweb train. They know a good thing when they see it because that is a first class ticket to the finish line as everyone tries to jump on Corinne Rivera's wheel in the final kilometer of racing. I can imagine Bronzini, as we said, only two teammates. She is going to be looking for a fast wheel or two as we also see silence there in 
the green and black, just trying to assert themselves in this sprint. Here comes Bowles Dolman's rally there as well, but that is Anna van der Breggen right in between her two teammates in the white jersey of the European champion. The first United Healthcare rider is done. They will continue to burn riders out of that lead out train. This is a great example of how a uh, team sprint works. More riders going down here in the corner. Hoggins Berman Superman is down. That is going to be Tibco, Silicon Valley Bank, Silence is there, and Bianchi Colavita also having a rider hit the pavement. A silence rider going down, that is bad news for their sprint chain, and I think they may feel that absence there. Back on the front as Sunweb continues to drive it. They turn it over to Anna van der Breggen, but then they try to take over once again. On to the finishing stretch here. Again, it's all about patience in the sprint here. If you go too early, Laura, you're going to find yourself well out of the top 10 of this race. Sunweb then just looking for Corinne Rivera in the wheel. You've got Canyon on the right-hand side. Rally coming through as well. It's anybody's guess who's going to win this one. How about Katie Hall hanging in the top 10 here, doing her best. Arlena Sierra also starting to move forward. But here comes Corinne Rivera launching around Kirsten Wilde as Rivera opens up the sprint right at about 100 meters to go. Can anyone stop Rivera? Here comes Georgia Bronzini up the right side and Bronzini gets the stage win. A huge victory for Wiggle High Five as Georgia Bronzini comes around Corinne Rivera to win stage four of the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race empowered with SRAM. Kirsten Wilde ends up third place on the day. The sprinters have their day in Sacramento. That was a stunning victory for Bronzini. She only has two teammates out there. I don't even know how she did that. Looks like she came off Kirsten's Kirsten Vile's wheel and then just powered to the line. She had the space and she had the legs and she got there first. That was just good old fashioned smart bike racing by Georgia Bronzini. Knew the wheels to follow, got right behind Kirsten Vile and then at just the right time came around from behind the green and black jersey of the Silence Pro Cycling Rider. Man, look at those tactics. This could not have gone any better for Georgia Bronzini. She played this one perfectly today. But just behind her, you can see Katie Hall coming over the line for the United Healthcare team. They had such a brave attempt today to try to defend that one second deficit to Anna van der Breggen, but Bowles Dolman's proved just too strong. And after 413 kilometers of racing, Anna van der Breggen wins this tour by just a second. Wow, what an incredible final day of racing as the former world champion Georgia Bronzini takes the stage and Anna van der Breggen moves ahead by one second to win the overall at the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race empowered with SRAM. But spare a thought for Katie Hall and United Healthcare. A brave effort. How disappointing must it be to lose a tour on home soil by just a second? So here's a look at your stage results on the day today. Rivera in second, Wild in third. How about Hannah Barnes, fourth place today for the Canyon SRAM team? And Arlena Sierra finding another top five finish. Laura cut up with our race winner, Georgia Bronzini, after the stage. Georgia, a spectacular sprint today. Talk me through it. Well, I also surprise myself sometimes. Yeah, we are here with a really, really smaller team. I, in this day, I say they have two angels, Emilia and Audrey, around me. And we made it. I'm uh, super, super, super happy. Also, it's his mother's day. So Donna, our DS, was super excited about this. And this victory is for her also and my mom overall. And yeah, well, I'm really, really happy. And of course, you had only two teammates, as you said. How proud are you of the team for this? Uh, a lot, a lot. Like, um, I tried to practice in intermedial because yesterday there was something that, yeah, well, I say I can make it, but miss something. So I did the intermedial for be confident on myself in the end. And in the end, the girls also put me in the best position ever. And also in the radio, keep going, Gio, keep going. And I did it. And it's a really nice, nice environment around me. When I'm relaxed, I can do it. Congratulations today. Thank you. So after four days and 413 kilometers of racing, Anna van der Breggen wins the overall at the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race by just one second. Laura caught up with her for her thoughts on this historic win. Anna, a World Tour win, a yellow jersey at the Women's Tour of California by just one second. Can you talk me through what went on out there? Yeah, I think that's crazy, winning a, a World Tour race, a stage race with, with one second. I mean, we had climbs which were really tough and then you win this 
race with one second. I, I have to say Katie did a really good job this race and it was uh, one of the hardest races to win, I think. Uh, and I absolutely couldn't have done it without my team, really. They, I was a bit scared today to to do the sprints, but I had to. I had no choice and my team was totally up for it. So. Uh, they were going for it, so I just needed to finish it off and really they, they were riding so fast that I just had to do in the intermediate sprint only the last, I think, 100 meters. So, yeah, I was really happy to take those two seconds, but it was not easy. What was the emotion after the intermediate sprint? Because you've got the two seconds you needed, but there's still five laps to go. Yeah, and that was hard because you go you go to the max to get those seconds and you know if somebody rides away, then it's still a problem. So you need to focus and we were wondering if I got two seconds or one second and then it was still a bit, you know, it, so it was uh, hard, hard racing until the finish line and we were really relieved when we heard uh, we got the yellow. And what does it mean to you as well to be here and to win in California? Yeah, I mean, this is crazy being here. It's, it's really warm now. I like racing in this. Uh, and and it has been a really great uh, stage race. I mean, we started at Lake Tao. It was beautiful over there. And the organization of this race is absolutely amazing. You can hear the men's races going on now. So there, today there were so many people uh, screaming and they were all so enthusiastic. It's, it's just a great race. Congratulations to you and your team. Thank you. So Anna Van der Breggen wins the yellow jersey. Arlena Sierra picks up two jerseys in the Visit California Sprint Competition and the Tag Heuer Best Young Rider. And Katie Hall won't walk away empty-handed. She wins the Lexus Queen of the Mountain Competition. Katie, commiserations today. A brave effort to defend yeah. the yellow jersey. Talk me through it. Yeah, my team was fantastic, but Anna Van der Breggen is a hard girl to beat. And she got some bonus seconds in the, second, or in the intermediate sprint, and so we've lost by one second. And can you describe the emotion right now? Um, mixed emotions. Happy to have been in this fight. It was a big deal for us even to be on the podium here. We did really get attached to yellow, so losing that is, is sad for us, but we're still proud of the race we've had here. You also have won the Queen of the Mountains jersey yeah. and team classification as yeah. well. So there is much to celebrate here. Much to celebrate, yeah, definitely. Team classification, I think, is a big one for us because we race so well as a team and, and it's really not just me here. And so, yeah, we're happy to go up on, on stage as a team. Well done today. Thank you very much. Here's some onboard footage from inside the race. We're on board with Anna van der Breggen here as she got into a little bit of trouble today. She did indeed, a crash then, and look how quickly she gets back on her bike. Riders have, have said to me they've got a real fight or flight response to crashing. This one was certainly to fight on. Well, the mark of a true champion, how you recover. This is Lizzie Williams in the final sprint for the Hoggins Berman Superman team, and she found a top 10 for that squad. Great to have these images from inside the peloton. I never get tired of seeing GoPro images like this. They have been a revelation this tour. I've really enjoyed them. So Anna van der Breggen wins the overall here at the Amgen Tour of California with a very thin margin in a thrilling race over four days of racing through the beautiful state of California. That'll do it for us from the Amgen Breakaway from Heart Disease Women's Race. Until next year, thanks for watching.